Injuries to children are, of course, a very painful subject. Uh, there is no one, obviously, more precious uh, than a child. And I'll never forget going to a courtroom and seeing a picture of a child who was injured in a full body cast. Thank God the child had made a good recovery by the time of trial, but uh, if the old line, a picture is worth a thousand words, uh, was ever true, it's certainly true there. So what about the law pertaining to children and injuries? Well, often the allegation will be by the insurance company that the child was negligent, or a term we have used, comparatively negligent. And we know that in Massachusetts, if you are 51% or more negligent, you do not get to recover. The law seems somewhat indulgent uh, where children are concerned, and it uses, I would say, almost a blend of subjective and objective uh, standards. It says that a, the conduct of a child is to be judged by a child of like or similar age, experience, and intelligence. So I think you can see a bit of a blend of the, both of the subjective and the objective. And that uh, concept, that notion of how a child's conduct is to be judged, I submit to you as an attempt to be more indulgent and, and consider more uh, the facts relating to a particular, uh, particular child. Now I have seen cases, and this is a different issue pertaining to children, I have seen cases where the defendant will threaten to bring in as a, an additional defendant a mother or father or another family person who, quote, allegedly was negligently supervising the child. That's a very unfortunate thing, and I can only tell you that we do not want to lose focus on the original defendant, the original tortfeasor, and be uh, or have a trier of fact be muddled and confused by other issues. But that is something in all candor that can come up and often will come up in the case of an injured child. Not always, of course. Now there are youth statutes and youth program statutes and they impose a higher burden not on the plaintiff who is suing, not on the child who is suing, but for example on proving the negligence of a coach or something like that. Those statutes use the term of gross negligence, which is a concept like recklessness. So there is a higher level of proof that you have to use against a volunteer, understandably, uh, of a uh, youth recreational program. There are also the issues of uh, releases that are signed prior to any activity, a child, a release signed by a child's parent, or sometimes when a parent is injured, a release signed by them. Those are major issues uh, against which you, you have to overcome and succeed if you are to prevail in the personal injury case. In the written blog that accompanies this video blog, I will be more specific and make the various uh, legal and statutory references to help give, to give you an overview of the law of uh, negligence pertaining to children. Thank you.